Greetings, Hammock Forums. This is the day two of the Algonquin Spring Hang for the Ontario Hammock Hangers Association. The original plan was to camp on the island over in the distance over there, but for some strange unknown reason, somebody thwarted our efforts by taking the sites first. So we uh, turned around 180 degrees and took this site, and uh, we're going to go around and give you a tour. So stay tuned. This is the canoe landing over here. So we got uh, quite a few around here. Some people have uh, gone out for a paddle this morning. Uh, lots of good stuff around here. We'll sort of ignore the, the ground dwelling tent here, but it is a bit of a story. This is the tent for the wife and child of Sean H, who is hanging over here in his Hennessy hammock with a uh, three season uh, Phoenix under quilt over here is Otter set up he's got the same uh, mech sil nylon guide tarp over here and he's got his own hammock creation that we saw on the last winter trip report it's the digicam war bonnet clone with his own DIY under quilt that he's recently made This is Otter's friend's dead eye set up here. Um, he has the same guide tarp, but unfortunately due to a rather long story, they had to get this very unstealth-like gold-colored tarp. But uh, he also has a uh, hammock that Otter made, and looks like he's got the winter incubator on it, made out of Digicam. Looks like it's a Blackbird in a righty configuration. Okay, this is the group kitchen and campfire area over here. Say hi, everybody. Hi. So we got uh, Char and J uh, Giblets and Denatro and a bunch of other people down there that I can't all see at this moment. Corey. Corey, too. Corey, too. Brentwing. That, too. So this is the infamous Otter Campfire Tripod and Grill. Did extremely well with our steaks last night, and I will splice in the footage of that that I took yesterday. Oh, yeah. it, no, what, you mean your daughter's, your daughter's dough? <laughs> Eating in style at the Algonquin Spring Hang. Nothing but the finest. This is an eight-man Kifaru teepee with a winter hot stove in it. Now, you may be thinking, what the heck is this doing at a hammock hang? But it does serve a functional purpose because it's been raining most of since yesterday and uh, last night and this morning. So it's serving as the group rain shelter. Let's give you a quick peek inside here. So it is pretty spacious in here. Here's the little Kifaru medium sized stove. We were sending smoke signals out this morning. So some of you may be thinking that setting up this wood stove inside of a giant ass teepee would be frivolous, but it's been raining all day and it's really warm in here and we're all drying out. Thanks for bringing it, Sean. Yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the main event! Let's get ready to rumble! Uh-oh. Yeah, it got me. Oh, dude. The dog got you? Yeah. Got my hand too close. I'll get a band aid for it now. That's down to here. I fumbled my mora. It dropped point, point uh, into my foot. Oh, that'll do it. There is a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are as sharp as skin. Okay. Put a more whiskey on. <laughs> Okay, this is entropy setup over here. 
He's uh, fashioned his own sil nylon doors well, for his Mac Cat Deluxe $10. thing here. And he's also the creator of the DIY underquilt three quarter length, but he did his in the Carol pattern. Don't want to dump too much because everything's wet around here, but he also did a DIY top quilt in the Carol pattern too. And uh, it works quite well, or at least so he reports. Over here is Denatro's setup. He's got a, a bit of every manufacturer represented here. He's got a big Mama Jama tarp. He's got his Mount Washington 3 under quilt. And this weekend, instead of his usual war bonnet, he's flying the Hennessy Deep Jungle. Okay. Over here is Brantwing set up here. He's got the Big Mama Jamba tarp here with one corner popped up in porch mode. He's got a war bonnet Blackbird with a screaming Dyna Glide tarp suspension there. And it uh, looks like he's got a DIY underquilt here. And he said this morning that he's been sleeping in a uh, military surplus sleeping bag, so he'll be toasty warm. Over here in the Halloween of black and orange, we have a charred PP set up. I believe he's got a uh, Hennessy hammock with a DIY zipper mod, and he has his own top and bottom quilts, but he's got it all sealed up tight. Can't really see very much there. From all reports, he likes it, and he is very comfortable. Now, way, way back here in the back 40, being completely away from everybody else at camp is Kasuko's setup and he's got a war bonnet blackbird just recently picked up a yeti under quilt so he was good and comfortable last night and the other thing that he got most recently that he stole at such an outstanding price was a uh, oes macaque deluxe in spin came with the guidelines and everything And this is my setup over here. It's uh, OG Tarp by Gargoyle Gear. I got the two-tone with the black lower triangles. Can't say enough about this tarp. It's kept me dry two nights in a row now because on Thursday night, I camped out on Crown Land with Entropy because due to the distance to get here. Now uh, I've got my Bear Mountain Bridge hammock set up here. Like that hammock, very comfortable. I got it set up with my DIY synth under quilt and I also have uh, my recent purchase of a Shamu IX under quilt but I'm having issues to get that to seal properly on my jacks are better hammock I'm not sure what's going on there we'll have to work on it but I just added the other one just because it's supposed to get cold tonight and it was much warmer ground sheet necessary requirement got good use out of it Okay, this is B. Karen set up here. He's got the uh, Chinook tarp, the uh, 12 by 9, 9 foot 6 one. Very nice tarp, hard to beat for the value. I just wish it had more uh, webbing loops instead of grommets, but for the price you can't beat it. He's got a uh, Hennessy hammock here with a 2Q ZQ underquilt protector. And I believe he said for his underquilt, he's got a Potomac hiding under here somewhere. Uh, there it is in its lovely camel color. Okay, next up here is we have Giblet set up. It's got another Big Mama Jamba tarp here. War Bonnet Outdoors, I must say, is very well represented on the Ontario Hammock Hangers Association setups. It's got another War Bonnet Blackbird here. We've got some whoopee slings. And I believe he's using a uh, three-quarter length Phoenix Crow's Nest, or Phoenix under quilt from Hammock Gear. My goodness, got rocks in the mouth this morning. He's got some down booties down there, so his feet will be toasty warm. Over here we have Odd Dugs set up here. Starting from the outside in, we have a OES Macat Deluxe in spin with some appropriately bright colored tie outlines. Down here, we have a set of DIY Grizzbeaks 
that she sewed up after somebody else cut out the pattern. And under here, we have a war bonnet blackbird with a three quarter length DIY that uh, Odd Dog made herself. Winter thickness down under quilt. She said she was quite toasty warm last night. And over here, we have River set up with his DIY Lazy River Bridge hammock. Uh, he's using a slightly smaller tarp than the one of his wife Odd Duck has. Notice who got the really good one. So he had to supplement with this uh, regular blue poly over his smaller sil nylon Emmy Mac Scout tarp. And uh, for insulation, he has his own DIY full length under quilt. And his bridge hammock is made out of Digicam fabric.